Welcome back guys, Murphy back for round two with Grixis Shadow in Modern and this hand is fine so we'll keep. You can get a nice early Tasker into play which is good. So if we go turn one, fetch, shock, thought scale, we'll get one, two, three, four cards on agree. Yeah, so we've got a lot of options for turn two. We can get Tasker into play which is obviously very good and we're against a Wimbrisk Heights deck. So I assume they're black white tokens because that's the only deck I think I've ever seen play Winsbrisk Heights in Modern, other than maybe a White Weenie deck, but it's not very good in those decks, I don't think. So we're just going to go Flooded Strand into... So we could get a Water Grave, but we've already got one, so I kind of want to just get the Steam Vents. Yeah, we're going to go Steam Vents. Because we've got the Terminate in our hand. Um, I'm just trying to work out if we want to Serum Visions or Thought Scour. So if we Thought Scour ourselves, we have one, two, three, four cards in our graveyard. Uh, and then next turn we can Thought Scour or Serum Visions. So I think we just want to Serum Visions then. Because we're still going to be able to do both. We're still going to be able to do Thought Scour next turn to get Tassiger into play. Don't want that. And oh, so we've drawn a snap class image, so we don't even want the other snap class image, I don't think. No. And we're just going to pass the turn back. Yeah, the reason I chose the Serum Visions over Thought Scour is because we're going to be able to get Tasker into play turn 2 anyway, so I'd rather use Thought Scour first. Our opponents play Bitter Blossom, which is pretty hard for us to deal with. Main deck, I don't think we have an answer to it. So we drew the scolding town, which is good. One, two, three, four. Um, I think we're just going to go scolding town into watery grave here. Yep. And we're just going to run out the, the Tassiger here. Card that we want to keep in our graveyard for Snapcaster Mage and Tassiger. So uh, we don't want the land. Probably don't want Inquisition, I don't think. We'll keep Terminate just in case they have like... Um, there's just quite a few... I think there's more creatures that we're worried about than using a Serum Visions or something with Snapcaster Mage. So yeah, we're just going to run that out. Now their Bitter Blossom basically just counteracts our Tastica, but they lose one life each turn. So next time we can go like Shock, play both their Shadows. be really nice if we had a Stubborn Denial, but... And it's going to Lingering Souls, sure. So Lingering Souls is like one of the best cards against our deck, just because we don't have Trample, and it can just buy them so much time, and it's four creatures for one card. We can Thought Scour ourselves first to see what we get, or... Yeah, there's no reason not to, I guess. Ooh, Stubborn Denial is quite nice. It's going to attack first. They're just going to chump, which is good for us. Because if they just like go don't if they just don't make any blocks and they just start making like loads of tokens and then jumping with the bitter blossom tokens, then they're actually going to win the race when we play our death shadow. So I think what we want to do is just play the watery grave and play both death shadows and just try and kill our opponent quickly than holding up sub and denial because at the minute I think we're not in a great position because they've already got lingering cells in the graveyard yeah I think we just want to get on the board 
So this way, next time we can just start swinging. We've got the Bloodstone Mire as well, so we can make sure so our shadows don't die to just tokens. But at the same time, we're like we'll have up like Snapcast Mage, Stun Denial, and Terminate. So I think we're looking okay now. They can now use the Wimbrus Kites, which is kind of concerning though. Maybe it was better to. Oh no, this has got Summoning Sickness. Okay, so we're fine. I can't think of what the best card this could be. Like, I've seen some people play Wim Wimbrus Kites with like ridiculous creatures, like um, uh, like Emrakul, just absurd cards. But I don't think they'll be doing that in their tokens. They could probably be like an Intangible Virtue, or another Lingering Souls, or Bitter Blossom, or something like that. They don't typically play like some huge random Emrakul in their deck just in case. It's gonna thought sees us, which is fine. I think any of these is a fine pick. They might just take the snap custom age. No, okay. I was gonna say they might take the snap custom age just because it gets back if they take over the other two anyway. But all right, so they have got intangible virtue. So this is going to pump up our Death Shadows, so they're huge, or they're getting huge at least. So we play the Bloodstained Mire, and now we can use... So we can go like, Snapcaster Mage, Terminate, or we can just go Terminate, or we can go Terminate, Serum Visions, or we can go Snapcaster Mage, Stubborn Denial. We might as well lead with Serum Visions, I think. Yeah. So we drew Gurmag Angler, we don't want Thought Seize, we don't really want Snapcast Mage either, I don't think. I think we're just going to attack with everything. And then we can use the Bloodstained Mire to get like a swamp, play uh, Gurmag Angler, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah. So we can go play Gurmag Angler and keep up Terminate. And then next turn we can just go like Snapcast to Terminate another one. Because we can fetch Shock now which will put these up to 8-8, eight, eight, so they have to block at least one of these. That's fine, so they're going to... So we let that happen. Oh crap, no, we need to fetch first. Um, we'll get a swamp. The reason I want to do that is because I want to keep as many cards in our graveyard for Delve, uh, for Snapcast Mage as possible. So, between Terminate and Stubborn Denial, I think we'd rather Terminate in our graveyard. I guess we already have a Terminate. Mm. Yeah, I should have actually, we should have actually kept Stubborn Denial there, but that can't be helped now. So they're going to make another token. If they try and attack with the spirit, I think we're just going to terminate it, just because I don't really want to get too much lower life. I, guess, I actually know we probably do let it live. We, we are going to use terminate at the end of this turn, no matter what though, just so we can go next turn, snap, class, mage, terminate, and then they have to make a certain amount of bodies. So they've got two, we can go terminate once, snap, terminate the other one next turn, which means if they're lingering, so also have two creatures, and that can block both of these, and they'd still take nine. So if they lingering souls, they have to make another body. They also could just have removal though. So they're going to cast that, that's fine.
The other option is to let uh, let us take the damage, so these go up to 8, so if we draw a anything that does damage to us, then Death Shadows are both lethal. But I don't think that it's actually going to come down to that, just because they're making so many blockers. If they're going to block things, these are going to be the first things they block anyway. Inquisition... Does that change anything? We can just cast Inquisition, see what they've got, and then attack with everything. I think we'd rather just keep up Terminate. So yeah, we can just go Snappy, Terminate, Kill 1, and Swing. And if they don't have Fate to push all Path to Exile, we win. Because they have two blockers, block here and block here, take 9. Yeah, we're just going to do that. I don't think it makes too much difference. We'll take the fairy just in case they have any fairy synergies. So they have to have fatal push or path here, I think. Yep, sweet. Alright, so on to sideboarding. Obviously we want flying tendrils. And I'm not sure what else we want. Cards that are bad are like single single spells, like sorry, single spot removal spells. It's like fatal push is not great. Terminate is just worse though because it's two mana instead of one. Maybe we just want duress over fatal push. I mean, it's not great because like fatal pushing, uh, sorry, duressing a lingering souls is terrible. We could also bring the spell bomb, I guess to deal with Lingering Souls, but I don't think that's worth it. We could bring in the extra Stubborn Denial. Over the other Fatal Push. Fatal Push just seems really bad against the deck with Lingering Souls and things like that. So we'll keep one in just because I think that's fine. We could take an another Fatal Push out for a Dispel or a Spell Bomb. Actually, I think they do play uh, some Sorins, so I think we actually want Red Ball over Fatal Push. I'm pretty sure the deck plays Sorin. Um, there's two. There's the one that gives plus one, plus zero, and a lifelink until end of turn, or until their next turn. So I, I assume they'll bring that in if they do play it. So yeah, we're actually going to bring in the Dread Ball, because I think they do play Planeswalkers. They also just play Liliana. Like The deck does just play Liliana, because they can like tick up Discard um, Lingering Souls, which is just really good value for them. So this opening hand is pretty aggressive with the double street wraiths. Obviously we don't have anything to do with this, uh, with the life loss, but I think we're going to keep this. We've got fatal push and serum visions and lands, so. So leading off with Wimpress Kites. Again, we didn't see what they had last time. So we're just going to cycle and cycle. So we can go turn one, or we can, yeah, we can go duress, serum visions, or thought scour. So if we go fetch land, thought scour, we're leading up for a turn two Gurmag. How many cards will that be? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I actually think we want to duress here then, because then we can get rid of like a path to it. If they have like a black discard spell, we can use this to get rid of theirs, and then Gurmag is easier to resolve on turn two. Yeah, we're gonna use the Pluto Delta as well. So do we want to get the blue... We've only got one... Oh, we've got three red spells left in our deck. Two Colligan's Commands and a Dread Boar. So I'm just working out if we want to get the Steam Vents because we already have a Swamp anyway. Oh no, we have to because we're going to turn one Duress. So yeah, we will get the <laughs> Water of Grave. That could have been bad. So it might have been better off to lead off with the Swamp. But I, I want to get as many cards in our graveyard as possible. So Bitter Blossom, Spectral Possession, and Zealous Persecution. So Zealous Persecution is until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn, and your opponents get minus one minus one. Spectral Possession just makes three one ones, and Bitter Blossom, well we just played against that, so you know what that is. I think we just take Bitter Blossom here, then they just don't have a turn to, oh they have two champions. We 
We've got double snappy, so zealous persecution is a bit annoying. Yeah, I don't think we can afford to play against Bitter Blossom with the champions, so we're just gonna have to choose Bitter Blossom and pass the turnover. So the champion has protection from black and red. So our Go Mag Anglet doesn't actually do anything, but we can use Snapcaster Mages to flash in to block this. Like it is just a 1 1, so. We do the Colligan's command. Thought sees. I kind of want to just Thought sees away the other champion just because they're so annoying. But then we don't get to play our task. Oh, uh, Gomag. But Gomag isn't even doing anything anyway at the minute. I guess Flaying Tendrils will deal with these quite nicely, so... You... Yeah, I think we're just going to try and use Flaying Tendrils to get rid of the champions. Like, they're just not doing anything anyway at the minute, until they start making a bunch of spirits, which obviously they're going to do after they play the two champions, but we can deal with those, and I think... We'd rather do that and try and use the Flame Tendrils to clean these up instead of using Thought Seizers. I'd rather use the Thought Seizers to take the Spectral Possession. Because so I'm pretty sure they're just going to use play the other champion here. No, they're actually going to play this. Okay. Death Shadow. So, lead off with Serum Visions. We do want the extra land. I don't think we want the stubborn denial. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we do want the extra land though. Um, uh, let's thought seize them. I think we have to take the intangible virtue here. Because otherwise we're taking 2, 4, 6 and then next turn yeah and uh, we can't attack because they've got pro black so we're just going to pass the turn hopefully whatever is under this Wimbrus Kite isn't too good probably just going to take three here yep okay so it's six then I expect, whatever this is going to be, yeah. It's quite nice that these don't have Vigilance this turn. Well, they do, but like they had to attack before they could cast this, so these aren't tapped. Untapped, sorry. I think we are just dead here. Because we can, like... Yeah, we are just dead here, so we're going to have to Thought Scare and see what we get. Stubborn Denial. We're still dead in the air anyway. Yep, on to the next game. I think we just need to go under them because, or do something like. Because if we don't draw the Flame Tendrils, it's really hard to, for us to keep up with them. I don't even know if we want Colligan's Command against them. So maybe we take out these and we bring in spell bombs. That seems really bad. It only hits lingering souls. We we'll just bring in two fatal push, I think. I'm pretty sure Colligan's command is just awful against our opponent. Uh, especially post board. Yeah, we'll try this. This is one of the worst matchups, I think, for this deck. It's much better that we're going first this time as well. <laughs> this hand is awful, just we've got four lands. We do have Terminal Inquisition, but again, it's just... I don't think this is doing enough. We've drawn all four summon to now. <laughs> Fine, we'll, I'll just give this a try. <laughs> I don't think this is very good if they have like one creature, this is really bad, but... 
uh, the shadow is pretty good. I mean, so far I've doing anything with it though. Yeah, we're just going to put that to the bottom. Hopefully our opponent just has things like Intangible Virtue and ling or not Lingering Souls, um, Spectral Possession and we can just stub and denial them all. Just passing the turn back. So we'll play Let's say Myra and pass. You're like if we had the Death Shadow just stuck in our hand, then we're just like an, an extra card behind because we're just not going to do anything with it for ages. So I do think that it was correct to put it at the bottom. So unlikely that we have all four of us stuck with the Nails in a Mulligan Six, but it's pretty funny. So. We'll, I don't know if it's very good, but I guess we'll find out. Collective Brutality. That's perfect target for Stubborn to now. Like we could have let it resolve and then they can just take one, but this way they don't know they don't get the free information. Street Wraith, I'm gonna go ahead and cycle that. We could have fetched first so we have more chance of drawing a Death Shadow, but we've drawn one anyway apparently. Uh, yeah, we'll just pass here. So we are effectively down to 15 with this Bloodstone Mire. So if we draw another fetch land, we can go down to 12. I'm expecting we're going to get a Water Grave with this, just so we can use Death Shadow and Stubborn Denial off the same land. Whereas if we get like a Steam Bents, we can't, yeah, we can't afford to get Steam Bents. Lingering Souls, yeah, we're just going to have to Stubborn Denial that as well. I know that they're going to get two when they flash it back, but it's better than us not doing anything to it, so. Serum Visions. Sure. Hopefully we draw a fetch. But see, it's okay. Um, Gurmag and Street Wraith. So we can... So if we're going to... Yeah, I should have fetched first, actually. That's a pretty big mistake. Because now we don't get the scry value if we want to fetch. I think we just have to thought seize next turn anyway. So if we go next turn... So this time we're going to have to go like fetch, shock, thought seize them. So our scry is just going to go away anyway. Then we're going to be down to 15 and these in hand. Maybe we just keep up Stubborn Denial instead. Next, no, I think we want to do the damage, so it doesn't matter what we do with these. That was a big mess up on my part. Again, like, I'm still learning this deck as well, so I'm not going to play it perfectly. Path, Virtue, Blessed Alliance, and Champion. I kind of want to just get rid of the uh, Champion. They don't have a third land, so if they draw another untapped land, they can go Lingering Souls into Virtue. So maybe we just get rid of the Virtue and then they don't ever have that because like we can stubborn denial this if they don't play next turn no we're gonna get rid of the champion really hope that we draw a fetch land next turn or at least a shock land okay so this is gonna flash back lingering souls and keep up path to exile here which is fine oh they did draw the land great pretty bad for us Uh, we're going to Inquisition them. So we're going to take 4 next turn down to 9, which will make this a 4-4. Four, four. So the Stubborn Denials will both be active. So 
I guess we take the more mana efficient card. Yeah. And we'll just pass the turn. I think I've made quite a few misplays this game. But it's still not looking too bad. Because now we can play the Death Shadow next turn with Stubborn Denial back up. Bitter Blossom, well, that just resolves because we can't counter it. Draw a Snapcast Mage, which doesn't do anything. So we'll play Death Shadow and pass. We've just about got Ferocious on with the Stubborn Denial. So yeah, we can go like. What's the one card in the hand? Blessed Alliance. So we'll probably stubborn denial that. Take four down to five, and then we'll have a eight eight death shadow. Um, yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> it might have actually been correct to fake to push a, a turn earlier, so we would have taken one less spirit hit each turn. So it looks like we're not going to be mana efficient enough to do it now. Because like if we had Fatal Push instead of Inquisition, then we could have, next turn if we draw a land, we could go Snapcast a Fatal Push a, dif a different one. Well, we pretty much have to attack here. They're probably looking at how they could die here, so Team of Battle Rage with a fetching here would kill them. Oh, I assume they're just going to Blessed Alliance. So if they attack with... Uh, yeah, I think if we draw Flame Tendrils, we do just win. Because we would just go untap, we'd take uh, we'd take four because we can go. Oh no, because we can't actually fetch a land. Right, we're just gonna pass the turn back, and we'll have to fatal push one of the spirits or fairy rogue. Sorry, yeah, fairy rogue. So we're down to one. What are they gonna play here? Could they not just Oh they're one man off doing that, okay. Another lingering cells, sure. Police Toto, which does nothing. And that is just games. We're just going to attack, see what happens first. Yeah, I, I've seen some people play Illness in the ranks in the sideboard in uh, Grixis Shadow, just because it deals with this deck so well. So maybe Illness in the ranks is something to consider. I think Flying Tender is just more versatile though, which is why I prefer it, because you can bring it against like green decks. Yeah, we're just going to concede. No reason to play that out, to waste everyone's time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next round. Peace.